Hello, I'm the Sacker Drown, and hey, look at this. Dark Ages has updated to 4015. Uh, the only changes is really that it has been updated to version 4015, so that's a thing. And anyway, I'm gonna open up the game now. Okay, I've got it up, and I will note I'm going to be using Sound Sense for this as well, though it might be a little more cheery than some might prefer for a Dwarf Fortress horror fantasy mix. But. That is neither here nor there. It is simply a thing. Uh, one thing I think I will try is I noticed that in the advanced perimeters, instead of having the usual selection, when you come to here, you'll notice that it has a bunch of other selections. I think I'm going to go with a... I've tried the large and full, and it hits the FPS a little quicker than I'd like to, and the saves take forever. So I think I'll try, um, I'll go with small. Never hurt anyone. Oh, nice. It looks like it doesn't have many, uh, oceans or anything, so that's nice. Of course, the nice world gen music. I haven't actually heard this in a while, mostly because it only happens when you gen a world, and... That, for me, is generally when I get a new save, so I have to point out where the stuff is or something, or I forget something. <sighs> so yeah, so yeah, new hand are there. Though, sadly, you won't be hearing that because, well, derp, I forgot to remove it. I wonder if the pack's been updated yet. That was the song that just started playing that you don't hear because I stopped it is like the last remaining bit of copyrighted music. The song itself isn't copyrighted, but the specific recording that it had there is, uh, oopsie. I think, I just have an update. Maybe I should go check, but that's about the last of the stuff in the pack. Otherwise, it's all good. <sighs> Such a shame. Well, neither here nor there. Can't really help that. Okay. Start playing. Yeah, we'll just see what we can see. I'm half thinking about making this an actual series of videos on this fortress, so I'm going to try to find something fun. But, you know, uh, maybe I should actually go and try something different. Because I've been basically just inputting these five things for the last, god, I don't know, most of them. It's just, it just generally good stuff. It's like, do I want metals? Sure. Give me a lot of them. Do I want rivers? That would be nice. Mm, I guess I could cut out the river. But, hmm says it found a place. Uh, where'd you find it? Oh, it was right around where I'm at. Huh. Yeah, no, I don't like that. And there's no other place for it. So yeah, I guess we'll, uh, oop. we'll try something different. Uh, I'll be right back. I'm going to play around with this a little. Okay, there we go. I managed to actually get it with just, uh, saying yes to shallow and then multiple deep. So that should work out if we can, uh. Yeah, that's actually a relatively good selection. Um. What kind of area is this? Because this looks interesting. Uh, joyous wilds and untamed wilds. That could be interesting. Um. Hags, lizardmen, goblins, abeliths. Okay, so it doesn't matter which one I choose. Uh, this is in the same mountain range, so the Belder of Assemblies. Guess I didn't mind you. And it's Shrubland in Savannah. Yeah, seems fine. Um, if I move it a little bit like this. 
I can even out the joyous and the shrubland a little bit. Or the savannah and the... That's what I mean. <sighs> Always a thing. Dark Ages pet. Um, since I think I might actually try to make this into a series of videos, I'm going to uh, prepare carefully. Okay, normally I show the dwarves first, but uh, I figure this is a good thing to show, mostly because I had to tighten my belt a bit. First off, uh, I got a couple female hounds, a male war hound, a couple female cave lynx, and a war cave lynx, male. Uh, the usual lobsters and the usual peahens, just because that's kind of a thing I've got going. And then you'll note I have a steel anvil. There aren't an iron one. There isn't an iron one available. Next, three bauxite, two tower cap logs, four tetrahedrite, and that's it. There isn't any other copper ore. There's no castorite. Copper is about the only option, as far as self-smelting goes, that we had. It's kind of really disappointing if I... Really? Oh, because I... Uh... Yeah, it's like... We have... Spheralite, which I... I can't remember what it is, but it is a thing, but it's not... A... I think it's zinc. Could be zinc. Yeah, I think it's zinc. Lignite. Wait, is lignite just second? No, it can't be. That's the, uh... Yeah, limonite is the iron one. Lignite is the fuel source. Uh, bismonite, which is just bismus, which is used to make bismus bronze. And that's about it. We can't make bronze. And I swore there was another one in here, but apparently I can't see it. So, yeah, that's it. Kind of a thing. So, yeah, I I can afford four of those. And just by tightening my belt. Like, I only have seven in each seed, 11 in each alcohol type. Luckily, there's an extra alcohol type to pick up the slack, so we still got 55 units of alcohol coming with us. And then six different kinds of meat. Anyway, as for the dwarves, I uh, got a minor mason with a point of building designer, minor carpenter with a point of building designer, uh, adequate woodcutter, who also is a grower, and you notice it says adequate, that's because I also made him an adequate appraiser, so I could uh, throw some more points elsewhere. Here we have a proficient grower who's decent at brewing and cooking. Yeah, that's it. Uh, we've got an adequate bone carver, who is also a wound dresser, a competent diagnostician, or diagnostician, surgeon, bone doctor, and suturer. And then this is where we made up for having the appraiser above, because he's a proficient armorsmith, but also a skilled weaponsmith, which could be useful. I'm actually half considering, depending on how good the smelting goes, I might give him a silver warhammer to start with. Uh, this guy right here, who's going to... He's only a novice hammerman, but he's a proficient crossman, novice dodger, and I went for competent discipline. So that should be interesting. With that, we can embark. Oh, we're here! Oh, my aching, stubby feet and legs are so tired. I need to learn to ride a cow or a goat or something. <laughs> That's cute. Oh god, yes. Dwarves, they need to ride mountain goats. Sturdy mountain goats, mind you, but mountain goats nonetheless. That would be amazing. God, if, if there's any artists out there, or if anyone's seen any good picture of that, post that in the comments. My goodness. That's an amazing picture in my mind. Anyway, we're doing this for the glory of all Itor Fidjam. And we have to, uh... Watch out for lesser Wendigo. Wending. Wendingo. Wed. Wedingos. Whatever. Uh, and the place is Sazenor. Or bridged land. Strike the earth. Here we are at the start with the menus all put out. Um, it looks like. And yeah, mostly just trees. We don't have very high land. 
And again, I guess it did show it is mostly flat. Let's leave that there. Um, what is that exclamation point? What's that exclamation mark? Huh. I have no clue what that's supposed to be. I'm assuming it might be like just the texture pack and that happens to be like one small branch that's misaligned or something. Is this just a brook? Ah, it is. I don't particularly like brooks. More because if it was a river, it'd be an actual defensive barrier for, well, most of one side of the map. But as it is, it's just a, just a thing. Anyway. Uh, no, start with this. Wood furnace. Smelter. Workshop. Forge. F for forge. Boxite, yes. Then we'll, uh, of course, want to... Well, actually, those already have the architecture thing, so it's just this guy who needs to have all the metalsmithing jobs. And, um... You're a woodworker. So you can have the wood burning type jobs. And you can have all the farming related except for the. Well, hmm. It's a thing. I found out that wood burning isn't necessarily the uh, best thing to combo that one with but it'll do for now I'll just designate a lot of stuff to be fooled around with I guess so with that we can unpause and right away three of the buildings get started up mostly because those need architecture and this one needs metal smithing otherwise they would uh, conflict and we'd only get two people working um, I'm hoping that, there we go, yeah, the wood furnace managed to get done first. <sighs> yeah, slightly less efficient than I prefer. Bronze would mean that I'd get eight pieces, but we're just going to get four with this. Though, there's potential. Dang it. There's a potential of up to four. I don't care if you can't do it. Just do it. That is one annoying thing. Smelt one tetrahydrite. And then since it's already set up, copper battle axe. Um, and do I have anyone, anyone, ah, uh, yeah, I, I guess it is just a, uh, just a strange error with the, uh, way things are lining up. Hmm, it's odd. Feather, hair, there's a few nice ones right around here, um, what's that? Oh, what fine. Yeah, I know, wood fine. Yeah, these are the uh, feather tree ones. Chop those down since they'd just be uh, taking up space that could potentially be other trees that I'd prefer. Other than that, um, I'll just uh, actually designate another good bit. Triage and yeah. This is about the closest I've come to not having enough stuff. Though, honestly, you come with the wagon, so technically, technically, what you could do is not buy any wood and just disassemble the the actual uh, wagon itself. I don't really advise that, mind you, but it is an option. 
much as I would be loath to use it. Build workshop, carpenter shop. I'll also end up wanting a butcher shop, a tanner shop, a leather works, and a craft workshop. I've gotten this early game build kind of down pretty well. Eh, everyone's off. Most of them are storing in stockpile. Though, to be fair, it is uh, wood, so they do it relatively quickly. Um, which one of you do I want to do it? You have all the farming already, actually, so you should do that. So, uh, is leather working in here? Yeah, leather working's in there. And that'll allow him to do... Oh, actually, I don't know. Is this specifically wood stone? Yeah, it's a... Uh... It's including the one, so I'll actually have to go to the woodworker. Well, I don't have to go to the woodworker, I'm just doing it. And giving him woodcrafting, I guess. I could just as easily go to the uh, stone dude and give him stone crafting. Though actually thinking about it, we should have a bone carver. Oh right, the doctor. Derp. I'm just gonna turn off the crafts. Well, no, I'm gonna leave that on. Just in case I need some stone crafts or bone crafts or woodcrafts. And actually thinking about it, I do need a woodcraft. Or, I want woodcrafts. I want three nest boxes. I can't do it. Really? What's you canceling? Suspend. Yeah, 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 yeah. you always complaining. Do that. Though, of course, he's cutting down trees still, since I did kind of designate a few of them. Though, I did decide to up the FPS back up to 120, so things are kind of hopping along. Probably uh, turn it down after this video, just because the starting part can be a little bit boring since I generally do about the same stuff just because I've gotten a pretty good starting system down but after that obviously I might want other other things thinking about it I should set up the stuff that I need well don't need but that I want done here and then I we'll want a bucket a splint and a crotch and do we have enough room for a barrel we do do I want a barrel I don't particularly need a barrel I'm going to put in another bucket I think now I'm gonna make a bed so I can have a starting hospital so that should work out there we go And did I already finish that? Yep. Okay, cool. Um, eh. uh, also, something I forgot to comment on, but I did notice, or I did mention I got the lynxes. Those are instead of cats. And I noticed they could be trained into war lynxes, so I decided to go with two female, one male setup. There's no particular specific reason for it. It's more of just, uh, it seemed like a good idea at the time, so I did it. Uh, actually, how many? I've got at least three, so I can come over here and make copper picks. So that'll be a thing. And I did clear out this area, so I can do something with it if I want to. Yeah, the more I look around, I'm seeing more of the... Those are chestnuts, willow. I guess it makes sense. I think they're near the water. Bayberry, peach, peach, almond, persimmon. Um, 
I think I'm going to designate this grove of trees to be, or er, And actually, give me a moment. Okay, there we go. I cut it back to just the area that the trees were. More because I don't want to waste too much time gathering random plants. Though I do want them to somewhat gather plants. So, that was a thing. How are you coming? You're doing pretty good. Um... Brevia six barrels? Yeah, that'll help with the starting storage of food. Um, do I get anything specific out here that I could harvest in this area? Yeah, looks like it. Good, good. And I... Come back here. Thinking about, I want you to also be gathering plants at the moment. And did that finish? Yes, that did. Good, good means I can actually cut things down now. Ooh, what kind of plant is that anyway? Spinach leaf. Those are saplings. Um, I'm half thinking I want to do it near the water. Huh. That could be interesting. Uh, I could make an actual moat moat. And when it rains, it would actually fill it up more. One, two, three... Let's see. Yeah. That wouldn't be too bad. I could make the area in there. One, two, three, four, and then J, one, two, three. I think that's what I need size wise. Yeah. If I do that, I'll have enough for the usual setup I like to do. Okay. I. Uh, down to negative nine. The dwarves should start digging that. Yep. Actually, no, don't do that. I'll do a few over here, but I don't want to, uh, make it too shallow. Oh, uh, dig X. Also, I don't want that there. We'll leave it alone for now, then. Uh, is this layer dirt as well? I don't know yet. Only one of them is, uh, ah, right. The other one's actually got job. Yeah, I should cancel. No, no, that's fine. It's good enough. Or at least I hope it's good enough. If it's not, that would be a problem. Things seem to be going fine. I won't swear on anything, but it seems to be going fine. Build C stop. I'm going to do a stop. I'm going to, uh, I don't plan to keep this here. I'm just going to do a temporary little thing to gather up all the wood. PC wood, or not PC wood, just PW for wood. Yeah. Quick temporary track setup. It'll keep someone busy anyway. Actually, wood. Let's do a three way, and I can uh, reduce it later. That needs mechanics, which I don't think anyone actually has. Uh, metalsmith, you get to be a me no, not CG. Wait, yep, there it is. You get to be a mechanic. Aren't you happy? Ooh, Harquin. Dang things stealing the uh, focus. Yeah, I was having this problem in the uh, starter pack version as well. Ooh, good. This is another layer of dirt, I think. Yep, yeah, another layer of dirt. Good stuff. And that finished, so... Uh, quick stockpile. I'm not even going to uh, bother doing much with this. Enable. And via 
vehicle. This will end up just being uh, removed at some point soon. Native copper. Nice. It, it's kind of sad. It would. I'd much prefer, say, uh, Cassiterite, but I'm kind of almost angry because there's native copper here. Why couldn't I get it at the uh, trade screen? Or not trade screen, the uh, embark screen thing. Uh, looks like we could actually uh, have a few more people, but at least this way we have a couple people down, so if I need something else done. Hello, hello, we hit this relatively quickly. That seems to be happening to me as of late. It's pretty cool. And that's actually the, um... Oh, we uh, stopped over here. Huh. Yeah, that's... Sure, go ahead. Complete that. There's nothing really else I can do about it. Uh, what kind of things are there? Other. Troglodyte. Great troglodyte. Um, well, they don't fly. Which is really the saving grace I have right there. Because if they fly, um, I would have been in trouble. I hope it rains soon. I could just some rain. Anyway, in here... One, two, three, four. Take that out. I'm going to use this starting little bit for just uh, everything from the dang cart. Except for wood. Plus the fact that I'm keeping most of my people busy with gathering all the logs. What are these various color things? Let's look. Spinach. Chicory. Spinach. Cabbage, grapevine, DP. There we go. Actually, since we have two people that'll do that, we might end up having no idlers. Potentially. Huh, it's actually kind of hard to tell the difference between the uh, cavern floor and the uh, other stuff. That's kind of amusing. Food. Do I want to make this just food? No, no, no. It's everything but food. Enable, enable, enable. No, disable. Uh, correction. Almost everything but food. In that. No bits. Dig. Uh, the water would make it slightly irritating to dig over in that direction, so I think I'm going to uh, dig in the opposite direction. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. There we go. Yeah. We don't quite have as many gather plants going as I'd like. Yeah, well. And yes, they're a miner. Congratulations. I'm tempted to allow drink in there, but I don't think so. Oh well. They're almost done here. Yeah, you can't really tell that there's still walls there. That's a little annoying, though that's just the uh, area itself. Not not much you can really help with that. Not really. Also, apparently, there's still places to dig. Yep, still places to dig. <sighs> this side. All right, I should probably... Uh, over here. Uh, did we... I don't think we've, uh, gotten any... 
I'll just put that on repeat. See if we can get a silver bar and I'll give the guy a hammer. Oh, someone's fighting. Oh, snap. Um, That wasn't as planned. Though, uh... Huh. That's kind of unfortunate for that. Oh, never mind. Apparently it's kind of badass. Oops, sorry about the language there. Wound, uh, status. His neck is bruised, his other body is bruised, his right rear paw is bruised, his right front leg is bruised. But otherwise, he's just kind of kicking butt and taking names. You Wounds. Yeah, there we go. Uh, the upper body is brown. What's that supposed to mean? It's just bruised. Okay. Don't know why. It, um. I was going to, uh, see X. I guess, uh, there was no point in removing that. Just throw it back up then. Um. Okay. The food. There we go. I can move all the food there. Particularly all the plants we've been digging up. Huh. Pulling is kind of amazing. I was not expecting it to win, I must admit. What's that there? Fungalwood blowgun. Worker ant woman. Okay, so, uh. There was some other stuff around. But mostly it's just. I think we're getting to the point where head is cut open, head is bruised, broken, smashed open. Um, I think we might be losing a war link soon. Overexerted. Stomach, what's blue? spine da, 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 da. I'm trying to find where the stomach is first rear toe right front paw rear paw rear paw front paw right front leg lower body is bruised stomach bruised gut bruised okay so it's mostly bruising and we struck native copper which is interesting. Um, so yeah. Apparently we don't have to really worry about the caverns as much as I thought we would. Hmm. Though, kind of sad that the cat is down there. I don't really have any way to get it until I can go down there. Uh, okay, we ran out of tetrahedrite. Did we get any... Oh. The bars are over here. And we have a... We have a bar of silver. Okay, that, that'll that do. Weapons, silver... Warhammer. Forge a Warhammer. I guess fair is fair. I did say that it could have all that stuff. Derp. Um... In that case, let's make a few bins. Say three. Uh, apparently they were still digging. Where were they digging? Oh, I don't have a clue. Uh, F2, name, cavern one, zoom here.
Who, what are you? Reptile man. That's cool. Um, I've got a cave lynx. Which, to be fair, I guess caves are their natural habitat, and thus they probably should be a little awesome at it. But that was a little more than I was expecting out of them, I must admit. I must admit. Huh. I'm half tempted to, uh... I could add a door to that queue. I'll let the door get made. And then move, because it probably needs to be moved. Because. I'll allow three bins, because I have three bins. I am a gracious one. Okay, uh, looks like it made the door. Is the door down here? Um, I don't see the door yet. Is it because it's still being moved? Or is it because it's this? Yes, it's that. Big guy. Build door. Build door. There we go. And, um, PR. Let's make a refuse pile. One, two, three, four. There we go. Um, set up. But none of those things. I'm presuming they're all Zerg rushing the caverns. Oh, that's not cool. Uh, are those just caves? Umberachne web, spider webs. That's cool. Vaguely annoying. Uh, well, we did just open it up to the cave links in general, so they should stop those things from happening as much, I guess. Um, what do we have right now? It looks like everything that's left is on the surface. <sighs> Tearing apart the muscle. My goodness. That cave links kind of went above and beyond his duty. Which is interesting. Dimple cups. I don't need those. I'm presuming none of the stuff is butcherable. Oh, and it's summer. Summertime has come. That's nice. Um. Oh right. Uh. Chief medical dwarf diagnoser. Um. I don't know if we have anything specific that you can do at the moment, but it's a job. Um, actually, uh, that would open up the health screen and yeah, that's annoying. Looks like it needs diagnosing. Yep, webbed. You know what? I think... Oh, one, two, three, four. No, first of all, I should probably, uh... Dig out these areas. I'm going to put down a loom. And then someone will be tasked with actually doing something about that. Hopefully! While I'm waiting, what else do I need? I was thinking of something else. Uh, Giant Hedgehog is fighting. Actually, 
actually. You know what? Um, I'm going to uh, need to right away get a pet room, I think. This will be slightly annoying to uh, dig out, but... One, two, three, four. And I'm only going to go with a two-area door, kind of like that this time, instead of the uh, three-way door stuff I was doing. Right, I was going to uh, set up a medical place. Um, for right now, build bed. For right now, I'll make this the hospital. <laughs> Not very much of a hospital, admittedly, but, you know. I guess I should check uh, if it still needs diagnosing. Yeah, it does. Uh, who's fighting? Someone's fighting. Lots of uh, misses going on. Let's zoom to the war cave links. Um, no zooming from here. Oh right, it would be uh, in pet livestock that I'd zoom to. Warhound? No, not the warhound. Apparently, the uh, cave links is like the cats in that it wanders around more. That's there, so it's not actually this. Thing that's wandering around attacking stuff. Oh, snap. Um, it's a regular cave lynx that's probably gonna die. Hmm. Maybe I should have done something about that. Um, hmm. Status. Broken. Bruised. Um. Military. Create squad. No uniform. Peasant. Equipment. Weapon. Warhammer. Squad. AT active. Um. Z, P, work animals, squad A, kill, A kill R Squad A kill. That wasn't doing very well. Um there we go. Zoom fall. Squad A kill. But yeah, we've uh, got people in here doing stuff. Squad A kill. Dang it! A kill. Killed one of my lynxes! That 
It's horrible. Um, animals. Warlinks is still alive. The one female one is there. Um, I'm going to uh, build a nest box. I'm going to set this up right away. Uh, by setting up the nest boxes like this, it means that they will stay in the place, and as soon as they can uh, lay more eggs, they'll be right in the right place. And they won't be like, well, I claimed this one. <laughs> Which they sometimes derp around and do. Or, dang it, I just realized. Okay. Let's try that again. Only properly this time. <sighs> and then I can uh, just destroy cave links. The war dog can stay around. Those spare hounds can come over here. The lobsters. Peacock. And the horses. They'll probably end up uh, killing the horses. Since they are both male. Inventory, you've got the war hammer, and how good are you? You're a novice hammer man. Yep. T, or squad A, T. Oh, I think he was uh, cleaning up there. That's interesting. Inventory. Dump. I. Dump. Cave links, you get to stay in there. It's not a... Okay, yeah, that's a lie if I said that. It is a punishment. You know, just making a bunch of doors. Totally a punishment. If you totally leave that place, I'm going to so be angry with you. Because we only have so many lynxes. And, uh, kind of... Oh, right. Dang it. Wrong screen again. Pets livestock. No, I was in the right one. I was just in the wrong one. <sighs> this side. War links. Okay, it looks like he got diagnosed. Does he need any kind of anything? Doesn't look like it, though. Uh, I guess I could just... Wounds. Wait, this is the... Cave war links, right? Yeah. He... Okay, so he must have been treated. I guess. And the uh, only other cave links is that one. Um... Presumably, is the cave link's body still around here somewhere? I don't think so. It wasn't actually a pet, though, so I don't think I can do anything with it. If I know it might actually be, uh... Eh, it's just a corpse that... Actually, do we even have a butcher job on it? No, we don't. Okay. O-R-O. We'll let that stand for the moment. should be fine. Um, animals, butcher, butcher. But yeah, we managed to have more fighting in this first bit than I think I've had in quite a while. There we go. What does we need that stuff? DB...
And no one has any time for anything. Hoping to see the uh, doctor diagnose the person. But that's neither here nor there. Been melt. P. A. O. I probably didn't have to specifically go order it melt. I probably have one. Two more silver. Okay, yeah, I guess melting it's okay. But my guy isn't a bad weaponsmith, so I'm thinking I might want to uh, try to make a masterwork silver hammer at some point. Um, Hunglewood shield, spear, and another shield. Oh yeah, that, that is a good point. I could actually military equipment shield I could actually designate a shield. Good catch. Good catch. In case there's anything else in here for Ben, let's uh, reclaim the whole mess. I think over all we don't have that many areas to. Oop, what are those? Amphibian men. Okay, there's a lot of them, but they're over here. These evil creatures resemble walking frogs with arms to use them. They live in waters far under the earth. She is very tall, her skin is green, her eyes are black. Amphibian. No, 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 I'm pretty sure if it was uh, Deep Ones, it would specifically say Deep Ones. I think. I, I could be wrong. There's always the uh, potential to be wrong. Also, it looks like we're getting the uh, pair income. Yeah, really, um, what are you trying to- Never mind! Welcome to the fort! Welcome, welcome! Um, competent appraiser as well, huh? But I think the, uh, current appraiser is competent as well. But no, no, no. Welcome, welcome to the fort! Um, are you supposed to be good at beekeeping? Don't really care. Um, Z, Y, P, Furnace, Operator. Metalsmith. Or Blacksmith. Z, Y, P, Blacksmith. Okay. And that actually means I can go to my current metalsmith and say you no longer have to blacksmith and you no longer have to operate furnaces. Which I'm sure you'll be so glad about. Also, it means that I can just go straight over here and be like, make me some uh, ah, silver warhammers. Well, a little bit of pep in their step. And you are a potter. Mm-hmm. Apparently, animal care? I don't know what that does. Let me look that up real quick. Ah, currently bugged. Doesn't matter. Basically, it's supposed to allow the dwarves with pets assigned to them to heal the pets, but pets just heal on their own, and veterinary science isn't really a thing. Fair enough. Instead, we're going to give you the animal training... 
which you're not actually good at. And just in case one pops up, I'm going to, uh... And you're a peasant. Pure and simple peasant. Um, okay. ZYP holler. What's that? That's a bunny. That's a stray calf. Animals. Calf can be butchered. And here's a jeweler. I don't mind jewelers. Um, novice armor smith? Sorry, but we have someone better than that. Also, adequate. I don't know. I can never remember where in the world the uh, things fit into it all. Yeah, it's like, of all the things to come with, armor smithing isn't exactly one that I need. Okay, if you want to come as a legendary armor smith, uh, uh. And how good were you at the, uh, adequate? The adept? Uh, yeah, he's not good enough. Darn it. Stoneworking masonry. I guess technically he's close, but... <laughs> close. Oh, and he actually comes with a uh, pet lobster. I'm not going to complain about that. I kind of like the lobsters. And apparently a uh, stray duckling. And a gem. Wow! Is Are you a legend? You're a legendary gem setter. It, that's pretty... It's not quite a useful skill necessarily. That does mean that you can be a gem cutter, period. Because we have our gem setter for life. Also, did you have any other skills? No. So, yeah. Um, you're a really good gem setter. I must admit that. And you're a fisher dwarf. Or, as I like to call you, a hauler. ZYP hauler. What's that? Stray bull calf tame. General. Woodcrafter. You actually have skill at woodcrafting. Um, plant gathering. I'm gonna let that pass, mostly because it means I can, uh, take the craft off that guy. Animals. Anything. Butcher. Butcher. Oh, so it's feeling like maybe I didn't... Ooh. A minor. Only novice, but talented. That's... Not enough reason to actually, uh, disable the other mason, because it's one behind. But it's only one behind, so he gets to stay that. <sighs> I guess that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Also, what are you? Giant opossum. And that seems to be the, uh, all of them. Also, uh, pretty sure someone was supposed to have some sort of butcher skill. Um, I think it's that guy. So, uh, I guess that would explain why he's not doing it. Um... I'll just activate it all on him and then go to this guy and say, you don't have to do that anymore. Uh, though the herbalist, I think I will, now that I'm thinking about, it, turn off the plant ting farming fields. There we go. Not that we currently have fields to farm, but you know, eventually we will, right? 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 Of course. It's kind of amusing that we're basically keeping the caverns clear, Junk. Maybe I should uh, declare that area non-working. Oh right, and uh, I need someone to do that. 
You know what? I'm just gonna build it right down in here. Loom. No, uh... O for loom. Because. <laughs> o for loom. Because why not? I think I'm going to, uh... Dig out like that. Build sea wall. Is that a wall there? That's a wall. Build sea wall. Q, X. For now, we'll put a wall there. Temporarily. And I think I had extra doors, so I should be able to, uh... No, I didn't. Okay. Oh, just starting to make the doors. Got it. Build door. Nope. Okay. Uh, you. Z, Y. Actually, no. I like. Hmm. Z, no. X, Z. Be a labor. Metal smithing. Weapon smithing. Z. Metal smithing, weapon smithing. Turn off the other thing. There we go. I'm going to uh, get him that skill. And your hauler. I'm not going to do that with anyone else, but. Hmm, excuse me. YP. Labor. And you're gonna get craft. Weaving? I think that's what it. I'll just turn that on as well. It might be in farming also. Um, spinning or something? Spinning. I'll give you that. Build door. Featherwood door! Yay! So where's the, uh... Okay, they're both doing that. You stop that. Z fall. There we go. Yeah, someone's digging. Also, I think you're a mason, which is what that is, so... They'll probably get that done sometime soon. Build... Oh, one more. Build... Wor nope, one more. One more! Huh, <sighs> God, you can't see anything for the damn floor. Uh, loom. Fisher Dwarf, soon follow. Construct building. Yes. So I'll just have him collecting webs. Yeah, yeah, he's doing his job. Good, good. Z General. Dabbling Weaponsmith. I can't remember. What's the required skill level? Give me a sec. Okay, yeah, it looks like that with that. We can put this up. ZYP. Hopeful. Weaponsmith mood. And then we can go back to the uh, furnace guy and say... Or not the furnace guy, the uh, metalsmith, and say, yes, I would like you to do that again. Also, how's that? Okay, so that's good. Uh, basically, because that would be the highest 
skill that that dwarf has that's mutable, it'll, if he's chosen as the one to be the mooted dwarf whenever we get a mood, he's going to end up being a legendary weaponsmith if it happens. It, that is the caveat. It's like, if he's chosen to mood, he's gonna have a really nice mood for me. Um... Bookkeeper. We don't have anyone that's good at bookkeeping. Um... I don't really have anyone that I want to do that to yet, so... I guess we could, uh, make the medical dwarf also do it. Eh, no reason not to. Unless we don't have an overseer set. We have an expedition leader. What's the overseer do? I don't know. Okay, now... Workshop profile? No. Is it in here? Oh... Workshop orders. Auto loom all thread. No auto loom. Auto collect. Auto slaughter. Auto butcher. Auto fishery. Auto kitchen. Auto tan. Yes. And you can also uh, select whether it uses any cloth or a specifically dyed cloth. Since we don't even have that set up yet. At the moment, I just want them collecting webs. Giant cave spider silk. That could be a problem. Also, why isn't someone butchering? Is he still sleeping on the job? No. He's not sleeping on the job, at least. We do have a butchery, right? That would be slightly embarrassing if the uh, butchery wasn't, like, built or something stupid like that. Yeah, it's there. It's just not being used. Because. So it looks like we, uh, did all the trees. So that actually kind of makes me want to uh, chop down another tree or two. What kind of trees are you? Maple. Me. Not gonna check the other one. They get chopped down. Oh, and the uh, actually happened when I wasn't looking. Apparently, it has been slaughtered. Whoa! That should make. A number of jobs? Yes? No? Maybe so? Um, sort of? <sighs> oh, it happened a while ago, I guess. Hmm. That's annoying. Oh, so we're getting that annoying, stupid, uh, er, excuse my language again. Goodness gracious. He setting bar block disable no. Actually, honestly, um, no. Just get rid of that. That doesn't need to be there anymore. Actually, now I think about it. Uh, well, I didn't want it there. I did want it there. Oh, hey, I can, uh, specifically, uh... Okay, apparently, uh, Xing it out just Xs out everything there, no matter what. Which is slightly annoying. Actually. One more. There we go. And this will be... Gathering. That'll be gathering. That'll be gathering. That'll be gathering. These are eventually going to be actual things, but for right now, they're just giant areas to gather stuff. Apparently, the guy woke up and has decided to actually start doing his job. Congratulations! You're not a complete waste of space anymore. 
Apparently the manager is following that guy around for some reason. Okay. I guess that happens. Hmm. Okay, that's sweet pod. Um, we're not getting combat, so they're just serpent women running around and serpent men, presumably. And they're just running around, so I don't really care. I assume we just uh, finished collecting all the dang stuff around here, which of course means it's time to designate more stuff to gather. Derp derp derp. And, of course, the manager can just chill there for no reason. That's obviously what I meant for him to do. Um, did we uh, get more? We have one silver bar there. Weapon, silver, warhammer. Oh, needs refined coal. Well, good news, I can manage that. Apparently that guy's still working on some no, that's not a guy. That's a no, that is a guy. He's just not working on something. Derp. Um Do we have anything specific I want here? Table chair. I'll make an office. For the one dude. Oh, that also means that we have the doors I need. There we go. They're not meant for much, but they'll at least keep the uh, general annoyances to a minimum. Also, it hasn't rained, which is a problem. So, yeah. I hope it rains here, because that would be slightly disappointing if it doesn't. Just slightly. I'm actually going to uh, channel it a little bit more and make sure what I think happens happens. It should. That's how the game works. Yeah, it removes the uh, up-down thing. That's fine, then. Don't know why I even had to bother checking. I knew that's how it worked. I guess I just occasionally derp. Oh, right. Oop. Zoom. Large rat. Huh. That was an actual literal thing. That's amusing. Training. General familiarity. Okay. Well, there seems to be a lot of other stuff. Giant peach faced lovebird. Really? That's kind of cool. And we've got the butcher animal job, so that giant rat is going to be butchered. I am not going to complain about that. Uh, things are going along relatively well. Uh, do we have the... No, we don't. Uh, that means that it's probably lying around somewhere random. Don't know. Are you going to escape? Um, let's follow the giant hamster. I'm assuming if you're being chased or something, you aren't able to just leave the map. There we go. Injury. No injuries. He's just splattered with stuff. Well, that is a good point. Let's go check out the cave lynxes, because I never looked at that screen. Ah, yeah, he's competent and stuff. He's good stuff. 
That's probably why. He actually has skills. Dirt. And I think I haven't actually uh, put in the random new things that we've gotten. Those guys can just hang around as they want, so yeah, that's fine. Otherwise, everything's looking fine. Except, uh, I have no clear clue where the hammers are. Uh, do we have a few enough hammers that I can, uh... Silver hammer. Zoom. Inventory. Apparently we have one. Oh, I didn't make another one, probably. That would probably be the problem. Silver Warhammer. I'll just put it on repeat because I probably have a few. That need that done. Though actually looking at the time, I probably need to stop the video. Huh. Or maybe I should uh, quickly set up a uh, build P. Set up some farms. That might be a good idea. It's an odd number across, isn't it? There, 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 there. Okay, yeah, I can manage that. I kind of like these, uh... Two by four farm areas. Wait, that's two by three, isn't it? That's two by three. Build P. In this case, I can actually put stockpiles between them. Let's see, there, this, there. Ah, dang it. Close, but no cigar. I'll just put it at the end of it. And there's actually six types of plants. So I can... Uh... There we go. And uh, let me designate the stockpiles. Okay, I'm going to uh, fool around with something I normally don't do. And... Yeah. This is just the uh, traffic stuff. Basically, it's supposed to... Oh, no, I want it low. It's supposed to help with the whole pathfinding by saying, you generally don't need to go here. And I'm partly going to use it to make it so that they don't walk on the uh, field. I don't think that does anything to the fields at all. I just don't want them walking on the fields. Just kind of a preference. And it, yeah, pretty much what I said was this affects pathfinding. I highly doubt they'll need to go into this room on a steady basis. Otherwise, I think that's fine. Yeah. It won't really do much, but it's a thing. Though admittedly, I could probably, like, put high traffic markings on this, since this is kind of just the thing. And like I said, I haven't used this in a while, so I don't know if it does exactly what I remember it doing or not. Presumably, but you never know. Alright, I was going to, uh, P, C, T, food, forbid, plants, 
this I am showing just because it's slightly different than what I just did. It might actually be useful. Is that everything? I thought there was a one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that's everything. Wait, no, there's a. Is there a seventh? I think there's a seventh that I'm completely forgetting about. Um. I swear there was a seventh. Oh, blood helmet. There it is. It's just alphabetical. Derp. I completely forgot about a type of plant. But yeah, the stockpile is all that. I'm going to put that there. No barrels. Give to there. Um, I can't yet make this so that only takes from links, but once I get this over here to be drinks and whatnot and meat, or meat and then drink, probably that'll be viable ish, or more so. Oh, apparently the Warhound was fighting. What were you fighting? Reptile Woman. That's not a reptile woman up there. Oh well. I should probably actually make the zoom go to here. Um, I'm thinking about what do I need here? Or actually what I need is to uh, finish up this video at some point soon. Uh, yes. Time. Such an illusionary quality. Except for the fact there's a literal timer in the lower corner telling me exactly how non-illusionary it can be. Oopsie. Uh, how's the tan shop going? Tan shop's going fine. Everything seems alright. Uh, except we don't actually have charcoal for that right now, so I'll just suspend it. But otherwise, yeah. Um, I'll have to uh, figure out... Uh, actually, this should be relatively easily easy to solve. This The dimple cups... Which is actually now Blood Helmet Spore. Problem solved. Looks like they've actually managed to uh, finish the fields relatively well. I don't know what item they're trying to mess with. DB. Um, before I finish, I think I'll set up the fields, and then I'll let the fields finish up, and then I'll set them up. Gather. Pick gather. Pick gather. Pick gather. Yeah. Okay. Everything should be fine. Though, uh, that does remind me. I do want a cage. Um, I'll put the cage right here for now. I'll put the cage right here for now. Probably going to move it. Also, I just realized derp, de derp, de derp. <sighs> Bit eggs. Dang, nabbit. Hmm, <sighs> I wasn't on the ball with that. What item wasn't accessible? Give me a second. There we go. Also, apparently 57 is the lowest floor. I like these uh, lower floor areas. Or lower, or... Smaller Z-level selection areas. It's interesting. Though admittedly having both of my places be that might be a little much. Uh, what's the fighting? Serpent woman. The manager punches the serpent woman in the head. Squad A, kill. View, wound. Okay, where's the other serpent woman? 
There's one. There's... Squad. Still got the kill to me. Well, I guess this is a good way to end it with a little bit of combat. Squad A T Squad A kill Squad A kill list. Okay. Schedule. Uh, we don't have any training right now. But, yeah, that, that kind of, uh, killed a few things. Yeah, that was, that was a bit of a thing. Bit of a fight to end the day, I guess. Um, are all these actually finished up? Yeah, so I'll just uh, set these up and end the video after that. There we go. With that, uh, we had a good bit of combat this first video. More so than I was expecting, honestly. And again, I guess that's going to happen when basically everything that's happening is combat. So, fair is fair there, admittedly. Uh, did I turn off? No, you've got hauling. Goodness gracious. Um, item inaccessible. I have to wonder what the inaccessible item is. Because I have no clue. But yeah. Um, mostly amphibian type people. They seem to be staying away overall. And then those lovebirds, which I would be interested in potentially catching. But as it is right now, I think we're good enough to end the video, so yeah. Uh, definitely going to definitely going to continue with this fort as it's been quite interesting. But overall, yeah, new release of the uh, Dark Ages, and so far I've been having fun. This is Zachary Drower, and I'm signing off.